Hi everybody, welcome back to Terra Firmacraft Season 5, Episode 74 with me Sid and uh, we are here in the crop area where I have now got these in their third generation, oh, first generation was one more second, yeah these are the third generation of seeds which are all now kind of mid tier these guys haven't been bred yet, I'm just waiting for that one to mature and I'm waiting for that one to mature, these are in their second generation, these are still first gen and these are all first gen but I put them in because they're dead easy to harvest like this, so yeah, um, same with these. These are all in crop sticks because I can just run down and go click, 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 and we get the lot. Um, we have had the first ice of the year. Um, it's currently reasonably warm, and it is currently early winter, December 25th, Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> um, and... Plan-wise, I'm not going to keep on doing that on camera because that's, you know, yawn. Um, what I want to do is I would like to get us forward. Oh, I've got some more mob drop. I've been kind of killing mobs in my spare time as well. It's just become a little hobby of mine, you know, mob, mob butchering. Um, what I would like to do is get down and into the... Uh, Thorncraft side of things and it's the alchemy I believe is where we need to probably start going next Thaumaturgy we are there but we can't do any of that until we've got um, uh, um, infusion crafting uh, infusion crafting is going to require us to make a whole load of stuff and, and that's a good way, good goodly way off um, and of course to use that we actually need alchemy to get the jars with the things now I am trying to remember how many aspects there are in this foot version of um, Thorncraft because it's sort of aged since I've done 1.7 Thorncraft so I'm just going to double check I think it was in the 40s or 50s but I might be wrong I will count those off and I'll be back in a second there are 47 of them so we need space to store 47 vials or crystal and crystals because one of the things we'll use is a crystallizer um yeah we've got the obvious oops thank you obviously we've got multiple directions so we're going to have an infusion crafting area we're going to have storage for that and probably i don't know something else i am going to need to excavate this direction and we are going to get a alchemy area going with the relevant bits and pieces in the first instance that will be a crucible which is a cauldron and a one job um and we will then want to get some night or as probably as our first thing which if i remember rightly i think we can just do that with three torches and some coal or six torches and two coal because i think coal gives us more let's have a look uh yeah ignis no we have to do over there boop, boop that one yeah coal Coal you get two for, so we would need three coal and six torches, and they would do the job. Or, you know, candles or glowstone or whatever. Um, candles, torches are obviously the cheap, cheapest one. So, we need to do that because we want to get into having a decent source of um, fire. And I need to double check my iron situation because we will need one two three four five six seven of those uh to become our cauldron for that but before we can do any of that we need to make a space we also are going to want glass and um, let me just have a look at the jars so a water jar is simple aqua on with glass panes and it is unfortunately glass panes glass panes can be made with ender io clear glass or glass yeah uh, that seems to be it. ender io clear glass is just sand in the alloy smelter which we don't we do have the alloy smelter is what we have so we can get we can use that to make our glass rather than have to faff around with that thing um that's fine. Alright, let me um, 
Let me sleep the night off and I will grab the pit props and uh, I'll be back in a moment once I've got some space cleared. All right, well, we've got the tunnel. <laughs> this is as far as we got through. Now, it occurs to me that overly planning this is not going to be the best thing in the world because we need starters to turn you into a crucible. And we then need to heat said crucible. And I believe a torch will do that. And then we need to get a bucket of water and pop it. That is not good. This is a bucket of water. Uh, it's a coolant, apparently, but that's all. And it's not accepting water from there. Okay, not a problem. Let's um, go and get a wooden bucket, shall we? And see how that works. If the wooden bucket with fresh water works, then we know that's fine. Um, I will, however leave that one behind lovely weather we're having for the time of year okay so that one works okay so we got that so we know we need three pieces of coal and six torches One, two, three, and we've got sticks, so we've got torches. And then we can at least move away from the um, the torch underneath. It doesn't really matter. It's actually not heating it, is it? Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Torch isn't working. Brilliant. Perfect. Wonderful. I love this plan. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> right, so we've got everything we need except for a means of heating that, and I don't think we've got any netherrack at all. So the question, therefore, is what do we burn? A log? We could do a log. I know what would work, or at least will burn anyway. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to leave some rocks and stuff behind. And we'll leave a little bit of that behind, because we're going to be excavating that out of the wall anyway. Uh, and then we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's... See how it deals with a pit kiln underneath it, shall we? Um, that needs to come out temporarily. No, it doesn't really matter. It can come out totally for me. It needs something in there. Damn you. And I suppose I could have, I'm assuming a log would probably work as well. But it might burn out before we get there let's take a spare log and we'll take that halberd mold because i'm going to use that honor <laughs> but it will actually deal um at least getting this thing going the way we want it to because now we can pop those in and then we can go one two three four five six seven eight and we should be good to light that. And then we'll just pop. Yep, that's working. Excellent. That's surprising me, but um, excellent all the same. And we're going to chuck those in. Oh, damn. I uh, forgot the glowstone. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get this somehow. 
but there you go a couple of glowstone uh, what did I chuck in? six torches, I can always make more torches that's not a problem <laughs> no, oh yeah there we go it's already uh, it's already done its thing uh, hmm Yeah, is it? Uh, let's try and remember how. Yeah, you do it like that, don't you? All right. Uh, I need six more torches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to put you on there. But f before we do that, we need to go and A, clear this flux. And B, get some more water in it. Still going to need a, bucket, a barrel of water down here. That's the uh, that's the TLDR. However, pop that in. Get that ready. Get those ready. And that should. allow us to do this now I actually don't care about that at all so hmm I only get one oh, that's annoying I should have got two for that that therefore looks like That's all gone. I really don't care about that. <laughs> hmm. Can't see what's in there. I think we're going to have to get the um, the goggles done at some point. But we should be able to use night or underneath that now, which means that we can close this area off around it that will be absolutely fine we can we've not tainted the area I'm fairly certain so I need to expand this out a little bit in the first instance as this is just a temporary affair what we are going to need to do is get into the the full uh, oh, hello don't know what they are <laughs> um, the the full-on jars and stuff like that so let us see where we go next we've got the night or to power you the next thing i think we need to do oh, we need more crucibles for the rk alchemical furnace okay or do we hmm we need for the alchemical construct I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a bit more about that alchemical construct to go. Just your tubes and everything. I suppose we're, we're kind of getting there. Okay. I think First things we're going to need to do is probably, well, yeah, let me just get this room hollowed because I'm kind of trying to concentrate on multiple things at once and it ain't working. So I will do that and I'll be back in a moment. just want to point out that just because you use pit props does not mean that you are safe. This was uh, a two block cave in. It was caved in from the block above the block that was supported. That is quite normal um, so don't assume just because you've got pit props in place you're safe I always work on the basis that 
you know, just because I'm not par just because you're not paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. And I guarantee you that the author of TFC was definitely out to get you. Um, so we're kind of this is such slow going. It really is. <laughs> Even with this um, this pick, which I have got two modifiers remaining, so I could I can speed it up with some um, redstone, uh, which is probably something we need to do. But for the time being, I'm just going to uh, keep putting down blocks. Take you away from there. That's fine. Put you there. Um, so this is going to be a 17 by 7. Which well, should be big enough. And you can see there are definitely cave systems over in that direction as well. So that's another consideration. Uh, I've kind of nearly done one half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I say, this is slow going, and it wears your chisels out like uh, like they're going out of fashion. So, yeah, I just thought I'd cut back in to show you that you you know, just because you just because you got yourself a uh, pit prop does is not a reason to breathe. <laughs> These things are there and will collapse on you at times. I tend to backfill as well, just because uh, I don't want to leave voids where mobs can spawn more than anything. But it also offends my sensibilities leaving them like that. So that's a kind of a thing too. Anyway, this is going to come over to here. And at that point, we are going to stick a another shale pillar in uh, this side will be done so that will give us five on that side yep uh, that will be then the back wall uh, not really much else to say about it we'll hide some torches in the ground and uh, under the slabs and eventually we will have a room but until then back in my all right, I'm a little concerned. I can't find my saw anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. It's not in any of the places that I can think, you know, I would have normally put it. Which is obvious. I mean, when you think about it, that's kind of an obvious statement. It's, it's not in any of the places I can think of. It is about as obvious as a statement as this gets. But, yeah, I don't know where it is. Um, it's not in my backpack. It's not in any of the chests that I can see. Just been over to check the thing. I put some cross crops in over there just to be going on well. I mean, it's possible I th I've dropped it somewhere along the lines, but um, I don't recall dropping it. I mean, obviously, if I did recall dropping it, I'd know where it was. But it's it's not here. Um. None of those are crossbreeding yet. Uh, I may have to make a new saw, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Uh, although we have got some reasonable materials for making a saw, so that's not too bad a situation. It's just annoying when I, when you know you had something and now you can't find it. Um, I wonder whether I put it inadvertently into any of these. Nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. What am I actually? One, two, three. Four. I've actually got small amounts of most of these, haven't I? Not enough to really rely on, but. Yep, yeah, it looks like I've lost it. Alright, I'm going to have to go and. The reason I need it is I need to make some more planks because I've run out of this. Um, these are all nicely lit down here. Uh, but need more great wood plankage and uh, I don't have anything to make it things while I think about it I should also get some of this glass going shouldn't I uh, sand Thir let's just whack 30 sand in that should get me enough glass to start with the jars uh, and I will get the while we're walking past it I will get the forge up and running to make me a don't think we can make uh, 
Um, that's tungsten silk, can we? Let's just have a look. No, no, just the usual, just the usual suspects on that one, which is fine. Just wondered. Steel, steel, steel saw, steel saw. Steel saw for the win. Let's get that going and then we can at least forget about this for a short while. I'm going to go and get the uh, glass cooking at the same time. Um, yeah, I've got no idea where that saw's gone. but Which is annoying. Yeah, only moderately, but it is still annoying. Uh, okay, that's cooking and it is cooking those pretty damn fast. So we'll have that in a mo. Right, yeah, I'll uh, get on, get that sword on, back in a moment. All right, it is another lovely frosty morning. Um, I need to get some more sand on um, because I've used the 30 blocks of glass that I uh, had previously. Uh, I will going to go down into the there in a moment, but right now I just want to go and check on. Uh, I've been running across crops while I've been doing all of this because, you know, it just kind of makes sense to do so. Uh, it is getting colder. We're getting ice again. Um, it's it's only early January, so I'll make sure that we get plenty of ice between now and there, uh, the spring. But oh god, damn it! This is the day. This is the problem. If you oh, I've just realised that is a problem actually. Ah. I'm going to have to start all over again with the uh... <sighs> hmm. alright well what we're going to do is we are going to have to basically cross with one of those yeah, so don't leave these unattended is the uh, long and short of that particular message because weeds. I've never actually played with this with weeds on, so that's a uh, interesting mechanic. I don't like it, but it's an interesting mechanic all the same. And uh, yeah, Ooh, that's a, a good, good solid. Thing. Now, I am very much inclined to just try going the more old-fashioned route. This, this is the only problem with these things is they don't stack very well. But you've got a f that and that. So if we just go and put both those... I don't know, uh, let's do this a bit more sensible. We do that and pop that one there, that one there, that will be happy. Uh, we've got two amarith, so. Hey, oh god, what happened then? Uh, let's not do that again, huh? <laughs> Uh, okay, I need to work out what the hell's going on there, but not while I'm on half health. Makes uh uh huh. I'll teleport you or something. That's what he seems to do. Okay. Well, let's not. Oh, damn you. <laughs> I'm all confused now. <laughs> um, let's not worry too much about that. And let's just go and we'll do these as a simple growth. And I will continue that off camera because I say it's quite a t I would say it's quite a boring mod, but for the fact that I managed to, you know, to kill myself with a plant is um, probably more interesting than I, I'm giving it credit for. 
Uh, oh, I meant, didn't mean to bring those with me. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's go down and have a little peek at what we've got. Now, it's not much, um, but it's home. And ultimately, this will come forward, maybe one. Uh, it'll get the um, um, Alembics on the top. We need to do these. These are going to be entertaining because the glass is fine. However, the labels, the labels are interesting because we need ink sac or paint. Now, clearly lime water with an ink sac to get eight is, so that's the way to go there. Slime. Paper, it was also relatively painful. No, but slime, slime requires me to use green dye and liquid blue slime. Liquid blue slime we can get by using suet in hot water, so hot springs. Um, uh, and, and we can also get liquid blue slime, put lapis in there, or blue dye, and we'll get four gelatinous, gelatinous slime and that, but we don't get slime slime. We need liquid blue slime with green dye. It doesn't use the slime, which is nice, or at least it doesn't appear to. So green dye we get from malachite powder. Malachite powder we get from grinding malachite. So we're going to need to find some of that as well. That's to label these. Um, and then, of course, the void jar, the upgrade, uh, is blaze powder. Now, blaze powder we can get from cinder pearls. Cinder pearls we can get from cinder pearl seeds. Cinder pearl seeds we make using some stuff in alchemy. And again, we should be able to improve those. So, yeah, there's a very, very big rabbit hole. Um, but I think on that note, I've probably scared myself enough with that amaranth, and uh, we definitely need to populate this. Uh, this is uh, um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen. That's forty-five. Now there's forty-seven. So what we're going to have to do is just pop the excess either side or something we'll work it out it's no biggie um but yeah thank you very much for watching guys i will see you soon bye for now